Hey y'all, you're watching Porty's Garage. Now that I got the inside of this 94 Caddy all cleaned up, time to start addressing some of the latent issues here. One of them I'm hoping will be easy is the air conditioning. Right now it is not blowing cold, it's actually blowing pretty warm. So let's see if we can get that working. Gonna start by popping open the hood here and locating the low pressure AC service port. So the one with the thinner diameter line is gonna be our high pressure and our low pressure looks like it's actually right here on this canister. It even calls out what kind of refrigerant to use and it looks like our port's right here. Missing a cap, but we'll add that to the list of things to get. Let's get this old car started up and we'll check to see if we're getting any pressure. Sorry for the noise, got a little exhaust leak, but we currently have no AC pressure. So let's give her a charge, see what happens. We've got our air conditioning set all the way on low, full blast, and we do not want to vent, we want to air recirculate. And we can see here, not really getting any cold air coming through. So let's give her a charge, see if that can change anything. So I've got my hose fixed up to my AC charge kit. What I'm gonna do, plug it on that uh, low side that we showed earlier. I'm gonna shake the can, pull the trigger for about 10, 15 seconds, let go, and then we're gonna see what the gauge is reading. Gotta get it up into the green, and then we'll see if we start getting cold air. All right, here we are. We're in the green. Let's go see if we can get some cold air inside. Well, we are not getting any cooler. If anything, we are getting hotter, and I think I might know why. If we look at our belt and all of our different pulleys, we can see down here, bottom left corner, the AC compressor is not kicking on. So that either might be a bad compressor or maybe some electrical gremlins down the line. We're gonna have to start doing some troubleshooting here. The good news is the system's still pressurized with the coolant we put in there and it doesn't seem like it's leaking. So we might be good there. Hopefully that means there's no leaks. We'll just have to figure out how to get this condenser to kick on. So we are getting power to the AC relay. So you know we're good there. We just have to keep working our way downstream and see what's going on. Right now I'm letting this cool off a little bit and then I am going to go ahead and I really can't get a good image there but there's a plug right there on the compressor I'm going to unplug that and see if we're getting power but just looking at the compressor when the clutch kicks on this whole center part supposed to spin we can see just a bunch of built up dirt and gunk in there I don't think this thing has been spinning for a while we might need a new one but we're going to do our due diligence to make sure we're doing this right all right, I've got my compressor plug out and I've taped it up to coolant line. Probably not the best idea, but it's kind of a short whip and the belt is nearby. I don't want to lose any fingers. So what I'm going to do, start up the car and start testing to see if we're getting power in either one of these. I don't know which is which, but if you look at this top one here and I can get this camera to focus, it almost looks like it's very corroded. So if that's the case, we might get lucky. Maybe we can clean that up and get the compressor to work again, but only time will tell. power so that means somewhere between the fuse block and this we are not getting power it could be a relay it could be the wire damage or it could be like i pointed out that dirty old connector let's try cleaning out that connector and see if that does anything all right clean up that connector we're gonna use some good old brake cleaner and just a little flathead screwdriver this one's broken but i kind of like it because it gives me even more control is there anything that brake cleaner cannot clean? Nope, still not getting power. So the issue must be somewhere between the end of this wire and the fuse box. So let's start 
tracing wires, see if we can figure out what's wrong. All right, I couldn't find anything wrong with the wiring. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and try and bypass the relay right here by just using a 12 volt drill battery and poking around in there. So what I'm gonna do is hook this up to positive. And then hook this side up to negative. Be very careful not to let these two touch. I'm not trying to electrocute myself. And what we're gonna do is see if we can hear this clutch kick on. Oh, there we go. Let me move you so you can see it live and in action. So we're looking right down here at this bottom guy. So to me, that seems like the clutch is getting signal, but for whatever reason, the car doesn't want to send the signal to it. So we've determined that the clutch on the compressor works, which is great because I didn't want to have to buy a new one of those. Up next, we're going to move on and check the low pressure switch right in here just to see if anything weird is happening. But it is starting to rain, and I do not want to be playing around with electricals in the rain. So we're going to put a pause on it and get back to it when the weather clears up. All right, so to check if this low pressure switch is bad, what we're gonna do is just bypass it. So I've got one wire going in, it's all connected, it goes back into each socket. I go ahead and start the car up and we'll see if this baby starts spinning. My little spades are kind of small, so I gotta hold it, but look at that, we're spinning. And that's enough to convince me that this low pressure switch is bad. So I'm gonna go to the parts store, pick one of those up. I think they should be like under $20. We'll throw it on there and see what happens. Fingers crossed we start getting cold air. Easy enough to move. This one's 11 16th. Just gonna break it free and we should be able to take it off right with our hand. Oh yeah, that's some coolant. Probably wanna get a new O-ring wand there too just to make sure we're not getting any leaks we don't want. And if you wanna be really sure that your old switch is bad, what you can do is test the continuity. Really easy, just take your handy multimeter here and we're gonna switch it to the continuity. Kinda of looks like a little Wi-Fi symbol there almost. So what this is gonna do is show that if you have continuity, the you know, um, electrical signal or current is gonna flow through the thing and it's gonna make a noise. That's saying, hey, we have a closed loop, we're doing good. But when we test the switch here, nothing, nothing at all. It already kind of was proven bad by when we bypassed it and just took that wire and jumped it, um, getting the compressor clutch to kick in. But hey, always good to have a second opinion, right? Couldn't find them anywhere locally. So we're doing the old rock auto route, 1165. Not bad for getting air conditioning. There we go. Now we're nice and snug. Don't really need to go too tight, but I just wanna make sure we're getting a good seal. Okay. Plug this bad dog back in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go start her up and fingers crossed that we get some cold air blowing. And since it has been a few days since we filled this, might as well check to see if we do have a slow leak. Looks like we do. I mean, we're in the low area, so let's throw a little more in there. I mean, it could have too been us taking this thing off a time or two. Added a little more refrigerant here to this guy, and look what we've got. We're spinning now, and then wait till you get a load of this. We are blowing nice cold air out of these things now, and it couldn't come at a better time. It's pretty warm here in the mitten state. But just look at that. 
nice cold air, ready to go cruising. And there we go. We got cold air blowing in here and you can tell because it's 90 degrees and I'm sitting here with all the doors closed, all the windows rolled up. I'm not dying of heat. So we're gonna call this one a job well done. And we are ready to cruise down in comfort and style. So if you like what you saw, we'd love a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit us with the subscribe. Until next time, I'm T-Dog, peace out.